Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial series. So we're going to be going over C Sharp in this one. Um, you can check out my intro video before this as well. Um, but in this video we're actually going to start coding. So I have Visual Studio for Mac open as you can see here. Um, it's essentially the same thing with Visual Studio um, for Windows as well. Um, well, let me rephrase. For what we're going to be doing, it's essentially the same thing. Um, we're just going to be running uh, simple scripts, and we're going to be exploring the language itself. So we don't necessarily need anything too crazy. You could also use a text editor if you prefer. So we're going to be going over... Um, variables and also kind of what we have here. So let's go over this structure really quick because you'll probably see this a lot in whether you've just opened up a new C Sharp project or um, any other console application. This is essentially the starting point for every console application. So let's take a look at namespace first. Namespace is essentially uh, the name of the actual app itself. So for instance, if you were to write a new file, um, it would start with namespace, the name of your app, and then um, any other classes um, that you would put in there. So in this case, our app is YouTube Practice Console App, and thus the name of our app. All right, and then our first class, which is called Program, which it auto-generates for you, inside of this class and again don't worry if you're not sure what a class or a method is we're actually going to go over that later um, but just to uh, give you kind of an introduction of what we have here um, I'll be using some of these words so we have this class called program and then inside of this class we have a static function uh, named main and again don't worry if none of this really makes too much sense we're going to be going all over all of this later um, in more detail. All right, and then here we have um, the keyword console. Uh, so console actually is, um, it is a property of system and it essentially means that you can, right here, it says uh, represents a standard input, output, and error streams for console applications. So, what this essentially does is it tells the console, or um, right here, our terminal, um, to write this line, hello world. So when you run this, it will actually tell your console to write the line, and there it is. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to take it a couple steps further and we're gonna explore a little bit more C-sharp. However, um, when we're testing out new things, uh, console right line is a great way to actually see it show up in our window. So, let's go ahead and jump right in. We're gonna go ahead and take hello world out of here so we can actually add anything we want in here. So we add uh, the quotations, we can say um, something else. And if we run that, uh, we'll of course see uh, something else. All right, so now um, we can also add numbers as well. So we can do that, it'll print out the numbers as well. Um, and what we're gonna do now is we're actually going to make our own variables. So we're going to start with the keyword var. So that's how you essentially make a variable in C sharp is var and then the name of your variable my var. Gosh that's an awful name. But it'll work. And then we can initialize it here saying um, we can say it equals one two three. And then the semicolon at the end and then we can say my var right here and we can run it and there you go so the there are many different ways and we'll get into data types in the next video however 
um, my var is essentially it can be whatever it wants to be. This view, this keyword var um, allows it to be of multiple different kinds of data types. So we could also have it be of a string data type, which is essentially a string of characters. So we could say hello, and then my var would then print out. Whoops, my var would then print out uh, hello. And there you go. All right, so let's get uh, let's get a little more crazy. We can also add to this if we want to do one, two, three. We can also add. Um, let's do one. So we can do these sort of uh, mathematical operations, and there you go. One, two, four. So. It's essentially how you can create a variable um, in C sharp. Um, this is the most basic way of creating a variable and this is how you can work with variable as well. So in the next video we're going to be going over data types and how we can further manipulate um, our variables and do more interesting things with them. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.